Hello friends, in this video, we are start first small project in Node.js. And here we are started, how to make, simple chat application in Node.js. And in this project, we have used MongoDB database, with Node.js, for build real time chat application. There are many viewers has requested us, to build chat application in Node.js, by using MongoDB database. So for this, here we have make chat application, in Node.js, with MongoDB database. In this video tutorial, we will show you complete functionality and features, of this chat application. And from next video, we will build chat application, in Node.js, with MongoDB database. Before demonstrate chat application, if you have any suggestion, or feature, which we have not included or cover under this chat application. So you can suggest us, your any feature or suggestion, which not include under this project. So you can give your feedback, by type under comment box, and we will try to add cover your suggestion, under this tutorial series also. First I have show you, simple feature of this node chat application. So this is index page of this node chat application, and here, we can register under this system. And from this page, we can able to log in under this system also. So first we want to register under this system, so here, we have one by one enter form fields details. And then after, we have select profile image, from local computer. After this, we have click on register button. So after click on register button, here we can see that, success message has been display on web page. That means, our registration is complete, now we can able to login into this system. So here, in login form, we have enter user login details, like email and password, one by one. And after this, we have click on login button, so after click on login button, here we can see that, we can able to login into system, and here, we have enter into chat application. And here on web page, we can see, login user profile image, login user name. And below this, we can see setting button, and logout button also. So after login into system, user can able to change, his or her profile details, by click on this button. So for change profile details, we have click on this setting button, and after click on this button. Here we can see that, user profile details has been display on web page, in setting page, without refresh of web page. And now, we have change name details, and after this. We have changed profile picture, by selecting image from local computer. And after this, we have click on submit button. So after click on submit button, here we can see that, profile details has been changed successfully, and here on web page, we can see, updated profile image on web page. So this way, user can change user profile details. And now, we want to click on this setting close button, so by click on this close button, we can able to close setting form. Below this, we can see connected user list. So from this user list, we can able to chat with this user, by click on particular user. Suppose I want to chat with this user, so we have click on this user. So after click on this user, here on web page, we can see that, chat area has been display on web page. And here, we can also view chat history also, and now for send chat message. We have type chat message under this chat message type area. And after this, we have click on send button, so after click on send button. Here we can see that, chat message has been sent, and under chat history, we can see chat message has been appeared. So this way, we can send chat message, and for close chat area. Here we have click on close button, so after click on close button, here we can see that, chat area has been removed from web page. Now we have show you, 
how to invite new user. So here, in search text box, we have type user name. And after type user name, here we can see that registered user with that name has been list below this text box. And here, we can see send request button for send chat request to this user. So for send chat request, we have click on this send request button and here request has been sent to this user. So when that user will accept user, then this user can able to chat with that user. Now in second browser, we have login with other user to whom we have send chat request. And here we can see that second user has login into system and here on web page. We can see notification area and here we can see that chat request invitation has been display with accept button. So now we want to accept chat request. So we have click on this accept button. And after click on accept button, here we can see that request sender user has been added under user list area. And we can able to chat with that user. Now we have goes to first user and here in user list area, we can see that here request receiver user also has been added under user list. And here we can see that this user is online. So this is one more feature of this system. And here we can see that which user is online and which user is offline. Now we want to chat with this user. So we have click on this user. So here chat area has been appear on web page and same way in second window. We have also click on this user. So here also chat area has been appear on web page. Now we have type message in first window and then after. We have click on send button and after click on send button. So here on second window chat message has been appear without refresh of web page. This is because it is real time chat application. Now in second window we have log out from system by click on this log out button. So here we have log out from second window and now in first window. We can see that user status has been changed to offline because circle color changed to gray which denotes this user is offline. So this is complete introduction of chat application which we will start it to build in next video. So in this video we have show you how this chat application will work and from next part we will start it to build chat application under Node.js with MongoDB database so we will be meet in next part. If you have any suggestion or feature must be include under this chat application so please comment your suggestion under comment box we will try to add your suggestion under this tutorial series also.